First of all, I'm going to tell you a wee story of the Rokeness Boxy that came with you. We zoot my body. Oh, be a bit. Ten days ago. And we scotch on hoodies. And my crew. Uh, Billy, he was hauling a hoodie up and near the top of water, he shouts to me and he says, As I see you got in a hood of my hoodie. And so I want my hoodie. I said, Oh well. But it wasn't a seal of all. It was a shark. So, after a short tennis hoodie, it swam underneath the boat. So I, I got a good, uh, a good look at it, and it looked to me like a poor beagle. And the last thing was a bit eight feet long, I'd say, at least. Maybe a couple of hundred pound, two, three hundred pound, maybe. So, I thought to myself, I'm going to hit to get a shark road, you know, a shark reel, bigger gear than, than what we work uh, for the codlands and the uh, hoodies. So I've been searching the internet and I think it's a fortune, clean fortune. So. I searched and I searched for days and the cheapest road it, it I think might be for hauling up a shark of that size was for Glasgow Angling Centre and it was 70, 70 pound for an 80 pound to a hundred and thirty pound weight. So I'm just about to open it up. So I'm hoping this is going to do the job for catching a shark. So I've never catched a shark before and in fact maybe maybe I wanna catch it but I'm gonna get a go anyway. So we'll open this up and, and see if it leaks. Left. I was expecting something heavier for a for a shark, but I don't know really care. Yeah, I guess I've got uh, a couple of magazines. Sixty nine pound ninety nine. 
and that's we free carriage. So that's a bargain for that. For that size of road. And see if it like the quality is. We can get it loused. I bet you like Christmas. <laughs> oh, it's a beauty. Okay. So that's a butt. Feels fine and thick. Put a wooden on top. Then it's got roller depths on it. No, it's not a long road because a boat road. And be strong for the sharks if I get a shark if I catch it so give a wee look at it now it's a uh, It's a flooding Euro Gold 80 to 130 pound. So I hope you can see right there. And um, I didn't again myself, I've never cast a shark, but I'm hoping that that's going to be capable of doing a job. It's a, it's a really cheap road, really. So, if you let me in the comments if you think that'll catch a shark. I mean, I, I reckon this thing was about at least 200 pound, maybe 300 pound. It was a, a lot of girth in this, this beast. Like. So, but I've been watching a few videos on YouTube. I've been watching the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. Watching his shark video. The poor beagle shark. We reckon it's a poor beagle like. The, it had a white uh, tap at the back of its fin that I could clearly see. And it, it actually looked like a great fight. If you've never seen a shark in water, it looked like something like that. But I reckon it must have been a poor beagle. So this is what I'm going to try fishing for. Now, I've been looking for a cheap reel, you know, to, to match this. And I've just no idea if it type of reel or anything you even need for a shark. But once again, I was looking for something really, really cheap just to try it. And because, uh, as I say, I may be going to catch now. The uh, cheapest reel I could see was £250 with a carriage on Alibaba. So, I've given both that. So, you, you watch our space, and once that comes, I think it's going to be about maybe a month's time, four weeks to come. But once that comes, I'll let you see my unboxing that tonight, and uh, we'll see how it goes, and then I'll hit a look at the uh, fit type, uh, whether it's braid or mono, and how much pawn I would need to, to, to put onto this, to, to fish for a shark. So, watch out anyway, you just watch this space. And I'll, I'll put up another video when the, the reel comes. And 
Well, also had a video once I get out of gear and that was out in a boat and I go for a shark again or a shark or if you've ever seen, if you've ever seen it again. Yeah. But we'll see you let my game in the comments when you thought you have on the the, uh, the shark fishing idea and that I can not see poor beagles going about in the area, so but uh, okay. I'll catch you after.